My name is Aman Grangwil, and I'm the lead reporter at our Refugee Sport Network. And today I am with our uh, special guest, one of the guys that has been persistent helping the youth in Kakuma, specifically in the uh, sport industry of, of, of football. And would you please introduce yourself? Uh, I'm by the name Cody Arnu, um, a refugee in Kakuma, and I'm a learning facilitator at JWL. And uh, at most of the time, I facilitate uh, youth sport uh, for the past two years and encouraging youths from different backgrounds, both female and male, to engage into the sport program within Kakuma. Well, thank you, Cody Arnu. And uh, this interview will basically base on uh, things to do with uh, the importance of, of football in Kakuma. As we've been working for the past two years, uh, facilitating youth sport. Uh, so... Uh, what's the importance of, uh, of football uh, to the individual uh, uh, players that has been participating uh, uh, in football and, and the community? Uh, let me talk about a different aspect about the importance of more particularly football uh, among the different sports that we I do facilitate to encourage youths to participate in. Uh, the One of the most important uh, aspects about football uh, to the youths in Kakuma, one thing is that it creates that... Uh, if healthy uh, brain development, because uh, it's uh, it's uh, one of the tips uh, that most of the time health uh, measures try to in engage students into, trying to tell them that they should participate in sport program, more particularly football. So it prepares the sharpness uh, in the different areas and arena wherever they are studying. The other thing is also about the the socialization and interaction of different individuals, trying to bring people together, different cultures, uh, eradicating the biasness between individuals, uh, to most particularly. So we are living in Kakuma, more refugee camp, whereby we have different uh, background of individuals mm -hmm. and giving them the opportunity of sport. We try to unify these individuals, given that not only they are from different culture, but also from different background. So which is one thing that we try to emphasize, football in socialization, health problem, health issues, this mental sharpness for them to improvise in their studies and physical also of their parents and also the exercise ability. Well, thank you, Cody. Let's take uh, and beg uh, the question about specifically about the gender. When we talk about girls in some communities, girls have been the, being said not to be participating in, in football and other physical games, specifically football. What do you say about that? Do you have some girls that you've been... Uh, training and facilitating them uh, al across the courses that uh, you've been teaching at JWL? Yeah, actually, that prejudice is there, and the prejudice has been there for quite a long time, whereby uh, most of the time people tend to feel like uh, sport is only for, for men. But uh, you realize uh, in most occasions uh, within this ju jurisdiction, we try to eradicate that kind of biasness that takes across, and most of the time try to encourage females to participate on um, that's where we started from the learning facilitator part of it. Mm -hmm. So we facilitate uh, the coaches, uh, the students who at least, again, take this kind of impact to the learning students that are learning in different primary schools within the camp. So we decided to start from the mayor background whereby their parents and the community will look at the sport program and the, its effectiveness, giving that it creates opportunity for their learners to learn, for the learners also to develop physically. So yeah, we try to avoid that by a particular point by engaging the communities from the word go. So we make community earn and also be the owners of the program. So that thing has been influential and crucial at a particular point, trying to ensure that sport is also transitioned to girls. But still, we are still working towards that one. We have not achieved the 100% maximum. But uh, we believe at a particular point towards some years to come, projection, that all girls within the community of Kakuma will be allowed to participate in sports. Well, thank you very much. And to our audience there, we've been live with uh, Cody Arnu, one of the sports specialists in Kakuma. Thank you.